Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. It's almost the new year and a lot of people have New Year's resolutions. And one of the most common New Year's resolutions that people will have is usually about losing weight. And there are a lot of people in America today who are way overweight and they definitely need to lose weight for health reasons and a lot of other reasons. It's very important. But just one easy thing that you can do to start losing weight, even now, and I challenge you to do this over the next three weeks, even leading up to January 1st, is that if you're overweight, the only drink that you should ever drink is water, okay? If you would just make that one change, you will lose weight. If you eat everything else the same, and just get rid of all the drinks that you drink that have calories in them, you know, uh, whether it's soda, juice, milk, the, the, the flavored coffee, whatever it is, just get rid of all that stuff and drink only water. Not diet soda, because that stuff has chemicals and junk in it that's gonna make you gain weight for other reasons. But just get rid of everything else and just for the next three weeks, just only drink water with your breakfast, water with lunch, water with dinner. In fact, if you're overweight, there's no reason for you to ever drink any drink other than water until you're not overweight anymore. And that's just one of the easiest, simplest things. Now, as far as a comprehensive plan to lose weight, I highly recommend the Weight Watchers point-based program. You can pay like 20 bucks a month and um, it, for the online only and do the Weight Watchers program. It's, it, it works great. If you follow the program, it's very effective. You're not hungry. You can eat a lot of nutritious food. It really trains you to eat well. But anyway, you know, let's say you're not ready for that or, or you don't wanna start that yet or, or whatever. Well, just one easy, simple thing that you can do, one change that you can make in your life that's just easy to implement and will make a big difference is just only drinking water. Why? Because the reason why people are so overweight, the biggest reason is the fact that they're drinking so many worthless calories, okay? Now let me explain to you why this is because when you drink this, for example, okay, this is a, a Coke, and you say, well, but Pastor Anderson, you know, this is the Whole Foods 365 everyday value and it actually has nothing artificial and it has cane sugar, no high fructose corn syrup here, no GMOs here. Well, forget that because it has 170 calories and 43 grams of sugar. Now here's the thing about these calories here. These calories will not make you feel full at all. Okay, so it doesn't matter how healthy your so-called uh, soda is. This thing is not good for you at all. It has no nutritional value. And all it's doing is making you gain weight. And if you're, it, now look, if you're underweight, drink up, buddy. But if you're overweight, you should never drink this drink for any reason, okay? Now, let me explain to you why. There's 170 calories in here, but this will not make you feel full. Like if you ate 170 calories worth of food, you would actually feel a little bit more full, okay? Whereas if you drink this 170 calories, not only will it not make you feel full, it will actually make you hungrier. It's been shown that people who drink sodas with their meal end up eating more food. So you're adding 170 calories to make yourself hungrier instead of making yourself more full. Now, let me give you the math on this, okay? One pound of fat is 3,500 calories, okay? So this drink right here, let's say you just drink one of these per day, and most people who drink soda, they drink more than 12 ounces of soda per day. But let's say you just drink one of these every day, okay? Well, if you do the math on that, let's say you did that for three weeks, okay? Then 170 just extra wasted calories, if you multiply that times 21, right? Then you're ending up with over 3,500 calories. If my mental math is correct, that'd be what, 3,570 calories? 3,570 calories? 
Well, one pound of fat is 3,500 calories. So that means that if you wanna lose a pound of fat, you have to eat 3,500 less calories. And if you wanna gain a pound of fat, you're gonna eat 3,500 additional calories. So that means that if you're drinking one of these every day, then every three weeks, every 21 days, you are gaining one pound of fat. Okay, well there's 52 weeks in a year. So basically in a year's time, you're gonna gain 17 pounds of fat just by eating all the same food and just drinking one of these every day. So one of these every day equals 17 pounds of fat per year, okay? Do that for three years and you're 50 pounds overweight. Do that for six years, you're 100 pounds overweight. So you can see how this can add up. Now on the flip side of that, if you just delete this every day, then that would mean you'd lose 17 pounds of fat per year. In three years, you've lost 50 pounds of fat and so forth. So you can see how this really adds up and it has no nutritional value. But other people will say, well, you know, okay, well, I'm not gonna drink, you know, sodas that have no nutritional value. I'm just gonna drink Gatorade, okay? because I'm getting all these wonderful electrolytes and potassium and, and sodium and so forth. But here's the thing about that. You know, this is a great drink if you're an elite athlete, but 99% of people who drink this drink are not elite athletes. They're sedentary, they're sitting around, they're overweight and drinking Gatorade thinking that it has some kind of a health benefit when it doesn't at all, okay? And this is the same thing. Now this right here, this bottle, is how many ounces here it's a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle and it contains 120 calories and 29 grams of sugar so it's not quite as bad as this but it's pretty close to doing the same thing and if you drink this whole bottle it, it's a pretty similar effect to what this is doing for you and then other people will say okay pastor Ernst, i get it you know gatorade and, and soda it's got to go i'm just going to drink juice because that, you know, this is healthy stuff. This is giving me all kinds of vitamins and antioxidants, and it's got vitamin C, thiamine, vitamin B6, calcium, niacin, folate. So they feel like they're getting all this nutritional value from drinking this. But yet, eight ounces of this has 110 calories and 26 grams of sugar. So remember, 12 ounces of this had 170 calories calories. So that means that 12 ounces of this, if you actually do the conversion, 12 ounces of this has 165 calories. So this is 170 calories. And it's 165. So it's pretty much the same amount of sugar, same amount of calories. Okay. So if you switch to drinking this, you're not going to lose any weight if you go from soda to this, because this is doing the exact same thing. It's sugar that is not making you feel full. It's making you eat more, not less. You're gonna eat more and have an additional 170 calories coming in, okay? Now you say, what about all those important nutrients that I need to be getting from my orange juice? You know, I gotta drink my orange juice. I saw a TV commercial about it. Okay, here's how you're gonna get those wonderful nutrients. An orange, eating an orange. You can eat as many of these oranges as you want and you're never gonna gain weight. You can eat bananas, pineapples, grapes, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, kiwis, till you're blue in the face. Nobody got fat eating a bunch of fruit, okay? It's the drinks that are doing it to you and other junk foods, simple refined sugars and so forth. But, but this right here, this is the food that God made and this is not gonna make you fat. This is good for you. So you're gonna get all the benefits of this when you eat this, but you're also getting the fiber, which is good for you. You're also uh, gonna feel a little bit more full. Now, admittedly, this is not gonna do much to fill you up, but it's not gonna make you hungrier. Whereas this kind of stuff makes you hungrier and eat more. This is gonna fill you up a little bit. It's giving you fiber, nutrition, and you're getting the, the calories and the sugar that you're getting are, are counteracted by the act of chewing the food and the fiber and the digestion process and everything else. So just get off the fruit juice and just eat 
fruit. You know, I remember when I first got married 17 years ago, my wife was just not buying fruit juice. And I was used to growing up just always having juice in the fridge. And I was always saying to my wife, you know, you need to go buy us some juice. We need to buy juice. But And she just wasn't really in the habit of that. And she was never into that. And she always kind of tried to tell me that you don't need to drink juice for nutrition. And over the years, I've come to realize that she was right and that juice is not something that we need except for a special treat. And, and we hardly ever drink juice. It's expensive. It's, it's not important to our nutrition at all. Fruit is much better. And by the way, this juice right here is pasteurized. So a lot of the nutritional value that's in this thing has been killed through the pasteurization process. Whereas this right here, you know, still has all the nutrients intact. And so anyway, I hope that this video helps you out. Um, it, it, you know, if, if you're overweight and you just kind of need a starting point, maybe you're not ready to go all in yet and, and get serious about it. Maybe you're gonna get serious on January 1st. But why not try just between now and January 1st to just drink only water and just see the fact that, you know, it's not that hard and that that's a great way to cut hundreds of junk. And let's be honest, many people are drinking 32 ounces, 64 ounces a day of drinks other than water. Cut all that stuff out. I'm talking no milk. And let, now, if you're underweight, drink up on the milk. Milk does a body good and you know that you may grow thereby, right? But cut out the milk if you're overweight, cut out the juice, cut out the sodas, Cut out any kind of flavor drinks, no diet drinks. No. This is the drink. This is the only drink. And and do this, and you'll see that, you know, after the first couple weeks, you'll stop missing the drinks anyway. You know, at first it'll be hard to to uh, skip the juices and the sodas and the milks and the and the flavored this and flavored that. But once you get used to it though, you, you'll get to where drinking water with every meal is normal. And then you can eat more of the foods that you love without gaining a bunch of weight. You know, I'd much rather eat 170 calories of tasty, nutritious food than to just dump this down my gullet or dump this down my gullet. It's just not, it's not worth it. And so anyway, I hope that this video helps you out and that you can start taking some steps toward being a little bit healthier going into the new year by drinking only water. And there's no reason in the world why you can't just drink only water even for the rest of your life. You're not gonna die. There's nothing that you need in these drinks. But eventually you can incorporate these other drinks as a treat. You know, once every week or two, you can pour a glass of whatever you like in moderation. But first you need to just break the addiction by spending the next three weeks just drinking nothing but water with every meal. And then you can evaluate a plan going forward. But I think that the, 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 the caloric drinks are the number one problem why there's so much obesity. God bless you. Have a great day.